everyone so today I'm gonna to be doing a new blind box unboxing video a lot of you guys have been requesting to bring back the Mavis mystery mayhem episodes and I definitely will be bringing them back but before I do I wanted to do just a small unboxing because I've missed opening a lot of blind boxes so this is kind of like an unofficial Mavis mystery mayhem episode because we're actually up to I think around number 50 and I want to do a mega episode which will contain maybe around 50 blind boxes split into two episodes so my plan is to actually film my Japan haul where I actually got a lot of blind boxes from that. So after those are filmed and uploaded on my channel, I'll be doing the mega episode of Mavis Mystery Mayhem. And then after that, I'll add all the new blind boxes into the box. So hopefully I'll be able to film those soon. And of course, in between those, I'll have lots of different videos ready for you guys, including some more unboxings and journaling videos. If you guys have any other requests for videos you'd like to see on my channel, then please also let me know in the comments. But for today, I have some of these blind boxes to open up here. I have one from the Pokemon Center Lucky Bag that I opened up earlier this year. And then the rest I've gotten from local shops. So this one was from Zing and a couple were from Kmart and other stores like Big W and Target. So this one here I've actually already opened, but I thought the packaging was so cute. I wanted to show you guys as well. So it looks like a little cupcake, but you can actually open up the container here. And also on the bottom, there was this little information booklet, which shows you all the different designs. I think this one was around $2 in Kmart or something like that, but it came with these little star candies and then also a sticker which says cupcake on them. So I thought this was just such a cute little design and I think I'll keep like stickers or something like that in this container to use afterwards. So now let's open up the rest of the blind boxes. So first up is this Best Furry Friends blind box. So I've opened up some of these before, but this was a new kind of container that I'd seen. So maybe it's a wave two or something like that because the ones that I had before were in orange and pink, but this one is in pink and purple. So I'll take off the packaging from this one first. So here is what it looks like. There's a lot of glitter on it and it says candle with care BFF inside. And then the bottom opens like this. So here is the little pet. And let's also have a look at the checklist. So here is the checklist. So it shows you all the common characters, the rare characters, and also the special editions. And then on the back here, it shows you the different fashion bags and accessories. So let's have a look and see which pet this is. So I think this pet is actually a flocked pet, which is super cute. So I think it's a little tiger, but it's all flocked, so it's super furry. And it has little purple eyes. So let me have a look at this one here. So I think this is actually a rare pet, which is Fairy Elsa, and she's a lion, which is super cute. And then the bag here is pink and yellow. So let me see which one this is. This looks like it's the strawberry cupcake bag, which is super cute. And then also the pet can fit inside like that, which I think is adorable. So there is Elsa the Lion from the Best Fairy Friends series. The next blind box here is a Wonder Bowl milk chocolate with novelty toy. So since Toy Story 4 just came out, there's a lot of Toy Story themed blind boxes out at the moment as well. So let's open up this one. It says it comes with a novelty toy, a sticker, and some character candies. So let's take this out. So this looks like it's the milk chocolate. So let me just open this. And I think I can hear something inside it. So there are some little um, candies inside which are shaped like the characters, which is actually really cute. So I'll put this one off to the side. And then here it says look, so let me grab this. So here is the checklist. So there is the stickers, I think. And then these are the little toys. So let's see which sticker and toy I've got. There's the capsule. And then the sticker is Jesse and Woody and then Gabby. And then let's see who the toy inside is. Let's see, oh, it's Woody. Okay, so we have a little Woody toy it kind of looks like it's a little um, like statue almost I might have to get some more of these because I actually really like the sticker designs as well I think this will look really cute in a Toy Story 4 themed page in my journal so that is the little Toy Story toy the next blind box is a baby secrets from series 3 so this says it comes with one baby one bathtub one birth certificate and one collector's guide so let's have a look at the collector's guide first so here is the single pack collector's guide so there's some commons, rares, ultra rares, and limited editions. And then on the back there's the themed packs. So here is the birth certificate, and let's see who it is. Ready, one, two, three. Ooh, who do we have? I think it's a doctor. It looks like they have like a stethoscope. So here is the baby. 
and they have little glasses and also a stethoscope there. So let's see who this one is. It looks like this is a rare character and it's number 60. So I have some water here. So let's try out the color change and see what color it changes into. So the diaper for this one changes into a blue color. So the next two are from the same series. They're both little chocolate eggs. So this one has Woody and Forky on it and then this one has Buzz on it. So let's open these up and see what's inside. So here are the two capsules. Let's open this one first and see what's inside. So, oh, I can actually see an alien. Oh my gosh. So it looks like these are little like toys or little figures. So the first one I got is this little alien here, which is super cute. So there are a lot of different characters and then it says these are 3D and they're painted by hand. So there is the little alien. Let's have a look at the next one here. I actually think this might be an alien as well. I kind of see the colors and oh my gosh it is. But I actually don't mind getting doubles of the aliens because that's pretty perfect to have like a whole like little set of them. So here are the two little aliens. I think these are pretty well painted as well for small figures. So I might actually go back and get some of these as I think having a little collection of them would be super cute. So let's open up the next blind box. The next blind box is this Kirby one from Good Smell Company. So here are the four different designs for this one. I think all of these are pretty cute, so I'll be happy with any of them. And I got this one from Zing. So let's open this one up and see what's inside. So let's take it out. And oh my gosh, it's this one with the face here, which is just the um, regular Kirby. So here is the checklist. And I think this is from a second series, as it says number two here. So this is the capsule, so I think all the parts are actually inside here. So here are all the little pieces, and then here are his arms, and then there's also his legs, and then the little game, which you can stick the sticker on. So now I'm going to put him together and see what he looks like. So there is Kirby, he also comes with a little stand here, so you can put him on a shelf and he won't fall over. So let's open up the next blind box. The next blind box is this little gacha capsule, but gacha capsules here in Australia definitely aren't as good as the ones in Japan. I think a lot of these are sometimes like replicas of other toys. So let's open up this one and see what it is. See, I think this might be like a replica of a little surprise doll. And the paint on this one is a little bit bad. There's like some paint splotches on her legs and then also around her eyes and stuff. It's not very neat. But um, these ones were like super cheap, it was like a dollar or two dollars and I was really interested to see what it looked like. So there is the little gacha figure. So the last blind box is this Pokemon dessert plate and this one was in my lucky bag from the Pokemon Center for 2019. So if you guys want to see that video I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. But this series has eight different characters in it, so here are some of the figures on the side. Basically they're all like little desserts. And then there is the other side, and there is the back which shows you them all as well. So let's open up this one. Okay, so I got that one open. And let's see who's inside here. Ooh, I think it might be Snorlax. Let's have a look. Ready? Oh, it is! It's the little Snorlax cake. Oh, this is so cute. Let me take this one out of the packaging here. So here is the little dessert plate. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. So we have the little Snorlax down the front here. And then on the back, there's this little cake. You can see all the texture on the back there. And then there's some little bits around the side here as well. This is such a cute little figure. I'm actually really happy with this one. Maybe I can try and get some more of these blind boxes in the future as I like the look of the Eevee one here. And then there's also the Alolan Vulpix and Vulpix there as well. So there is the little Snorlax dessert. So here are all the items from the blind boxes. I think my favourite item from this one is probably the Kirby here and I also really love the little alien figures as well. Let me know in the comments which item was your favourite and if you guys want to see more blind box unboxing videos, I'll leave a link to my Mavis Mystery Mayhem playlist in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!